Hi, it's Christian here. Welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Tonight I'll be tying another shrimp. This one. Little nice shrimp here, as you can see. And the reason for this idea is because uh, I went on auction, auction the other, last week actually. I was uh, I saw this one on on Facebook and I went for it on an auction and uh, I won. Cost me a fortune, but uh, this one just just had to have the, this one because of the very nice feathers and the coloring. Uh, it's a whiting um, cock young hen in brown speckled. It's called. It's called. So that's the idea for this fly. I got a friend of mine, uh, Pierre Tofting, who does some uh, nice shrimps and scots and all kinds of uh, coastal sea trout, sea trout flies, and uh, he also makes some 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 shrimps with some. Really nice um, shrimp shell, uh, shrimp uh, backs on the shrimp shell. It's called. It just takes a feather uh, from any feather and makes it without uh, makes it into a, a shrimp shell with some uh, uri resin on. And I'll show you how. So that's uh, part of the idea as well. So try that one um, on this little shrimp. But uh, look at this one. Oh my lord! So I guess uh, more flies are going to come out. In this one, but so that uh, that we don't need. Then you're gonna need some uh, nonded wire, some uh, hook. This is a light stinger size six from Avis. And I use this uh, dubbing from Vicuna, Kanish, I think it's called. You can't get the stuff. It's uh, it's too bad, but uh, it's out there. If you can't get get this one, it's some kind of short fiber uh, dubbing will do. Just like the color on that one, and it goes very well with this one, with my little patch of natural colored polar bear. I use some white power thread. This is one from Vivis. This one, this is nice. And I use a single little mallet feather and some easy shrimp eyes in black and some UV resin, some red sap in different viscosity. And last but not least, a bit, little bit of crystal mid, mid crystal flash. This is a white bluish thingy, which is great for this pattern, I think. And we'll end up with a whoop. There we go. A little lifelike shrimpy. Can't come up with a name yet, but this is one we're going for. So tag along for a little shrimp. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is the one we are aiming for. A little shrimpy. It's a nice coloring with my cool new new feathers. And uh, the hook I got in my vise, this one, is the, the light, light stinger from Avix in size 6. Almost as always, I'm going to use a white uh, Beavis Power Thread. It's my, this is my favorite at the moment. I'm going to start by Making some mouth parts of my little shrimp with a single mallet or teal feather, whatever it's called. Just stripping it from all the fluffy shit going down here, down the bend of the hook. Since these, uh, this Vicuna uh, dubbing I'm going to show you right now, this stuff is very, not a very long fiber, it's quite short. I'm not going to make my, my little mouth parts very long either. So that's why it's very short. With that secure, I'm going to go back again. Oops. There we go. It takes out my. Dubbing here to form a little little bundle of dubbing. It's not the easiest dubbing to to dub this stuff, but uh, it looks really nice in the water. I can assure you, very translucent stuff in this color. 
which name I can't really pronounce. People will probably laugh at me, laugh at me but uh, Kinch, Kinch, Kinch. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. It's a cream color uh, as well in this product. That's uh, it's cool as well. Now I got a little bundle going here. Should be enough. Then I'm gonna gently comb it out a little bit. See, it's very short fiber. So it's gonna be a small shrimp. And with the mouth parts done, I take my shrimp eyes. I guess place that on top and tie that in. Really, a, a fly or a shrimp, but it's quite subtle and not much pimpling going on here. For those quiet days where the sea trout are picky. Then I'm gonna take some of my polar bear here. A little bundle of, bundle of this. Could use some other hair product you got. Get rid of the under fur. Place that on top of your line. Probably the shank on, on top of the easy shrimp bar here. Antennas going here. here. With that done, I'm not gonna take a little bunch more of my my dubbing. Just not much effect of this, but pulling and laying on top, trying to get these fibers to align. It can be a little bit tricky with this stuff. I'm going upwards again, Whoop. all the way back. Just adding a little bit on top of the antennas and the pole up here. Just a little bit. Dubbing. It was really not much. There we got the end part done already, and I'm not going to forget this, my flesh, two flashy straws of Mitch Crystal flesh, I think it's called. This one in, in a very subtle white color with a there's almost green, green light to it, it's really nice.
current. I'm gonna take my non lead wire, I'm just gonna add a bit of weight to this flag by attaching my non lead wire underneath the shank. I always do it like this. The double end just twist it. Twist, 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 twist. Like this. And then just with a bad set of scissors, just cut off. So we got this. And just tie that in. Secured. I forgot to mention in my little intro, I'm gonna need some. Uh, I need a, a nylon rib as well. This is a Vivas uh, fin nylon thread that uh, I'm gonna tie in this as well. Ah. And to secure the all even more, I'm gonna take some. Uh, Super thin, huge resin here to secure both the eyes, the numbered wire, and my nylon rib and make the fly even more durable. So just like that. And set it. With that done, it's time for me to find a, a really nice white and cocktail hen feather. And we're gonna use as a as a heckle feather. And I will just get rid of this uh, this fluffy shit down here. Look at these nice colors it has. Brown, nice scars. I like it. I'm gonna tie this in over, over here. You can color it on the side pointing out towards me. And then I'm gonna take my Dubbing again. I'll give it a, a layer of dubbing. And the first layer I'm giving here is just a thin layer just to make sure it's all covered. You can't see the hook or anything through the through the through the dubbing. Yes, with that done, I'm going to take my my feather, trying to get hold of the get hold of the tip. I have to be careful with these feathers because, it's, as I mentioned before, the stem is really really thin, and full of both good and bad because it's very fiat fragile, but it's also very hard to see the stem when it's so. So thin, which is nice. 
So I'm gonna go one round with my with my slipper. And then after this just move my way forward. I can see this feather move this time on this one is Right up here in the front. In the middle of the, of the tip. And this looks messy. Then I'm gonna up here um, try to comb out the feathers here a bit out to the sides to make room for my. Sure. And the, the, the way you do that is because you're gonna take a small feather of your of your liking. I'm gonna use this, of course. Find one. Like this. And then I'll take a drop of of red Siberian resin. This one is the flex one. It has to be flexible. So I'll take a drop of this on my finger. And then in between my fingers here, try to drag it. Like that. Get a shrimp shell with some markings on it and then just sap it. And I, I made one in advance here. So I'm gonna place my homemade homemade shrimp shell in here on top of the of the and getting my getting my my nylon rib ready and then I wanna go wanna go the the, the other opposite way of the of the heck of the feather and I tie this stuff in and this is the this is the tricky part first of all you wanna Look at the length. Of your little shrimp back. How long you want it? Is this okay? And then I'm gonna use my needle to try to avoid tying down all my materials. Later, but that's why don't don't tie them all in. And this is by far the tricky part. See, I do this wiggle movement in my in my bobbin, so I don't tie in all the materials.
it's shaking under the trouble. Crazy. I really make sure it doesn't go anywhere, this, this stuff. And then I can just cut this off. Could leave it if you wanted to, this. stuff up here. If you don't like uh, as much feather as I used here, this was a bit much in my opinion. I could just have used uh, stripped half of it off, so I used uh, only half a, a feather. I think the one I used when I tied one the other day was. Smaller one, but you get the idea. Imagine this getting wet. You got a really nice little, little nice colored. Look at the markings on the back. A nice colored uh, strip. Get some good uh, translucency and shit going on. That mimics a a little shrimp. Try out this one. That should uh, definitely be a killer in the yeah in the spring I guess when the when the shrimps are really coming back. For now it's uh, it's mostly small small scots and stuff that works for me or pink monster flies as well. But uh, yeah, you get the picture. Hope you like the little tutorial and will subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. Bye bye.